Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be talking briefly about the cardinality of sets. What is cardinality? If we have some set A, the cardinality of A is often written like this, with absolute value signs around A. The straight bars around something is often used as a measure of magnitude. So, this is saying cardinality of A, and so what's that? What does that mean? Well, let's say that A is equal to the set containing, uh, let's just say, 1, 3, 5, and 7. The cardinality of a set is simply the number of elements in the set. So in this case, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So the cardinality of A is equal to 4. And it's pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't really get any more challenging or complicated than that. The only slightly more interesting case is the empty set written like that or like this. I personally prefer this one, but everyone has their own tastes. The cardinality of the empty set is zero. That's what makes it the empty set, is that it has no elements, which is of course why it's written like that sometimes. It's just a set with no elements in it, so the cardinality of the empty set is zero. And that's what cardinality is. The cardinality of a set is the number of elements in the set. The only tricky part of cardinality um, for people that I've found in teaching it is when you get into cases where you have, say, a set B and there are sets in the set. So let's say set B has the set containing 1 and 2 and it's got 3. Let's say it has the empty set. What's the cardinality of this set? Well, it's just 3. Cardinality of B is equal to 3. The only elements in B are this set here, the set containing 1, 2, which is an element of B, the number 3, which is an element of B, and the empty set, which is an element of B. So in this case, B has cardinality 3. So I hope this video helped you understand what the cardinality of sets is. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. All the way up here, dear Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear There's a light where I flow